the other part of this issue that we're having here. As you can hear, brand new blower motor making a whole lot of noise. But nothing going out of any of the vents. Uh, you turn it on that, still nothing. Nothing out of the defrosters. Will not let the air pass. I think I'm gonna need to get in here and tear the glove box out. Look in there. Try to figure out what's going on. He has the dash pulled apart, trying to put a head unit in it. So I'll be uh, putting his stereo system back in this too as well. So let's get this diagnosed. Hey, this is James from All Hail Internal Combustion. Here working on this. 2002 BMW 325 or E46 body style. This year has the blower motor right in the center. When you order aftermarket motors, they come with a red and a black wire, and that's what's in the wiring harness. But that doesn't necessarily necessarily mean that's the way that the motor needs to be wired. I wired this in one direction, and it was blowing this way and it was pulling air out of the box. So I came in and I rewired it the other way and it's pushing air through the system now. So you have to be real careful to test the polarity on your, your motor just by hooking it up. DC motors can run in the opposite direction when you switch the polarity. So just temp it together, you know, put your cover on, make sure that you have it going the right direction and make sure that your squirrel cages are pushing air in the right direction as well. That's something with these BMWs when you order aftermarket parts online. It'll save some money, but you have to do some thinking. All right, we're going to go ahead and put the cover back on this. It's a tricky you feed the front end first. You can slide right down the middle with this piece. Kind of wiggle it around. You can feel it slightly lock into place on the sides of it. Okay. When you bring this in, you have to pull your clips out to the side. They, you don't want to unhook those. <laughs> you can, you don't want to. Just leave them hooked up. Just push this into place. There, there we go. Pull the clip out. There we go. Okay. When you get to this point, you put your clips back on. Push right in the center of this clip. I'll snap in there. Now, when you get to this point, okay, you want to turn your blower motor on and make sure that it's not making any noise. You don't want to have to pull everything back apart. All right, so we got no noise. Now on these BMWs, I like to put the engine covers on before I put the cabin air housing on. So this goes in, lines up with two nuts. Two nuts, working on one of these. All right, and these have these tabs on either side. Right there, they slide underneath of this EGR passage on top here. Goes in just right, just to dress up the motor. Put your oil cap back on so you don't drop nothing down in there. I'll have to find some 10 millimeter nuts for these. I think they're in the trunk. I took this apart a while ago. tight but put them on with a ratchet all right I had to find some nuts for these I'm pretty sure all the fasteners fell down next to the battery pan and I'm not pulling the battery out I just found some new screws so I have this cover here it slides down into place you have to watch the side cover over here too 
two little pins, teeth that lock over that edge. You'll know when you get it into place, it'll, it'll fall into place. Just like that. Torx, I don't want to say it's a T30. I'm not sure on that. Two screws, one on either side. Put that on. Okay. Uh, yep, there we go. And cabin air pan. In here. There's on top of these gaskets on either side. Which there's a gasket over here. Supposed to be one over here. All right, now we're gonna put the cabin air filter tray in. This is like the drip tray and the cowl up here. Has a drain hose. Let me make sure that's not obstructed. It doesn't normally get obstructed, but if cars may be sitting somewhere for a long time, it can. I'll put these four bolts in back through here. Let's class this tray together so that the car can pull clean, fresh air out once you put the filter in. They don't need to be real tight. You don't want to shatter this tray. It's, I don't know what it's made out of, but <laughs> almost seems like a really thick carbon plastic. It's kind of heavy too. All right, so now the cabin air filter you can go in here just like this. Nice and tight, snap down into place just like that. Okay, take this cover, just go down over top just like that. You lock it down, and that. Yep, just like that. This piece of goes over top like that, and it sits against the hood. Here's the other one for this side. Just like that. Okay, I have a couple more pieces here. This piece goes on top of here like this. Just like that. This piece actually goes right here on the cow, just like this. I'm gonna probably put this on first, but it'll go on after it's okay. Slides up underneath the cow plastic there. There you go, that's putting this underneath the hood back together from the cow. It's not too bad. You got a little electric tray that goes in here. Hold your uh, electrical components. You have little slides that slide in there. Then you can uh Pop this wire in here. Pop this one under here. I think the electrical wire goes underneath. That goes on top. Just like that. Yeah. Take this piece on top. like that that's it for out here and a little bit of buttoning up on the inside on the dash but 
I put your U46 back together.